Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Nasdaq with Arshia. In this video, we're going to be talking about a stock that is being widely hauled by ARK K this week. And I'm also going to be talking about the big risk at the end of investing in the stock, the only big risk. And before we do that, please drop a like, a comment, and a subscribe. Really helps. And I'm going to just say that I'm not a financial advisor. This is to entertain you. And you should do your own research before taking part in any investment scheme. Okay, so let's get started. I'm just going to share my screen with you guys so you can see everything we're doing today. So, the, the stock in particular that we're going to be talking about is Huya Inc., ticker symbol H-U-Y-A, currently trading at $25.84. It's down today, as you can see. And what Huya is, Huya is a Chinese live streaming company that does live streaming on gaming, sports, live, live TV events, and talent shows. And they work with game coordinate, like sports coordinators and everything. So basically like the Chinese version of Twitch. And for those of you all who don't know what Twitch is, which I don't blame you. Even I didn't know what it was, although I don't know. So Twitch is owned by Amazon. It's another like live streaming platform. And it's the largest platform in North America with 140 million subscribers. And how Huya comes into play is because China has banned Twitch and allowing Huya to get the get all the subscribers and their subscribers have been growing with monthly active users, MAUs growing to 18% to 173 million dollars, not dollars, 170 million subscribers and paying users up to 13% to six million dollars. So as you can see, they really haven't getting more users and they're really, and how um, people are benefiting from that is that ARK Invest is, is taking full advantage of that. So I'm just going to show you guys how exactly ARK Invest is taking advantage. So ARK Invest keeps buying shares of this particular company and it currently holds just a second. 6.88 million shares and they are they own huya shares and not one of their etfs but two and this particular etf is their innovation etf and i couldn't i couldn't return the data to you guys of the other etf the fintech etf because it wasn't available but in total they have 100 sorry they have 11.6 million shares in huya between the two of their ETFs combined. And they also, they're also they getting more users, which is 173 million users, like I said before, which is way more than Twitch's users of 140. And while this is, like while we're not gonna trust ARC, ARC is not always right, this is a really good confidence booster just to see the ARC is, just keeps buying and buying and buying into this stock, which we like. But we can't just rely on ARC because they aren't right all the time, are they? So let's get into the financials. Alright. So firstly, we're going to be talking about how this HUA company, sorry, not HUA, HUYA, gets all of its money from where does it get all of its money from okay so huya is a live streaming platform basically it has sort of like channels so you can buy online gifts or make purchases towards your favorite channel or live stream and it's basically kind of like patreon except for like Huya takes a small cut from that huya takes a small cut from that and that's how they earn it the second way they do that second way they earn money is lots and lots and lots of advertising. 
and it works good according to the revenue. Their revenue, the revenue growth across its live streaming segment up 23% to 2.7 billion renminbi, and advertising income up to 45% to 158 million renminbi. That so that definitely shows that it works, guys, and we know that. And it's been quite profitable for profitable for quite some time now. It's just recently jumped up during quarantine, I think, in my opinion. And let's get to their assets versus liabilities. If I can find my balance sheet, yes. So, the total current assets are one one point five billion dollars. Oh, sorry, $1.6 billion, I didn't see that before, forgive me. The total assets versus, drum roll, total liabilities of $385 million. So that's really good because they have a really healthy balance sheet and that means they're not going to go bankrupt anytime soon. And they are almost free of debt, they have plenty of cash for them to invest in and back to the company and make the company grow toward the future. And with the five point with the five billion dollar market cap they have, five point eight billion dollar market cap, and but they're only trading at three point five six price sales TTM level, and you don't I don't think you'll see many companies putting out those numbers while grow, still growing in the 20s, their mid-20s. And this is another thing why, this is another reason why I think that Huya has great potential and a great upside, but the only risk that we're, they're finally going to get into is their merger with another, another streaming company. So as you can see, this company called Douyu, and Douyu is the second largest streaming platform in China. So let's read on a bit. So Huya and rival Douyu International dominate Chinese live streaming, owing 80% of the game streaming market between them. Yet yeah, another reason why I think we should invest. Well, I should invest. Their planned $6 billion merger is poised to create an industry titan. So no one will fare better than Tencent because it owns a stake in both the companies and will have a 67.5 voting interest in the new company after joining in the union. The merged successor company of Hua, Huya and Douyu will have over 300 million monthly active users. So that could greatly increase revenue and that's so it means that obviously it's a reverse back merger and they're going public but however the plans have been put in turmoil as china's regulators announced they're going to take a closer look at the merger as part an, as part of an antitrust crackdown Yikes. so this could be delayed and if the merger is called off it would definitely cause it to plunge and into loss so Be Beijing fined Alibaba 500,000 oh, 500, yuan or about 76,500 for failing to seek regulatory approval before increasing its ownership interest in department store chain Intime Retail Group. It also fined China Literature a 10 cent spinoff for not reporting its 2018 acquisition of New Classics Media, a TV production unit. So guys, like that's the only risk in investing in this company, I feel, is because it's only because that if they don't, their merger gets called off, they could get in loss. But otherwise, we are continues to be very underappreciated by the market, which is a good time to get get a buy. And this company has continuously beat estimates for eight quarters in a row. Can you believe that? It's continued to show strong growth during the COVID-19 pandemic. So it means it's a very anti-crisis, anti-depression stock. General substantial operating leverage and executed well overall, but its valuation has remained around at around $3.6 billion the past one through two months, far lower than pre-pandemic levels. 
So I feel that overall this is a good stock to inv invest in and I would recommend it. But like I said guys, this is not financial advice. This is just to entertain you. And thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments below if you want more videos like this. And again, please excuse the, the microphone. I don't have a microphone yet. I'll be getting one soon. But thank you for watching this video. Be sure to drop a like, a comment, and a subscribe. It really helps. And once again, thank you.